Today we're going to talk about decimals and I'm going to explain what are decimals. Okay, so decimals are actually created by mathematicians and uh, it's actually another way to represent part of a whole number. So for example, if let's say I have, a, I have an apple here and I would like to split it into half and give you half an apple, okay, you can say that actually you receive half an apple, you can either represent it in this way or you can also tell me that you receive 0 0.5 of, the, of an apple. So once again, decimals are actually created by mathematician to represent part of a whole. So it's actually very similar to fractions and I'm going to show you, okay, um, gradually how half is actually related to 0 0.5. Okay, but for now, understand that it's another way to represent a part of a number or rather represent part of a whole, okay, just like fractions, okay, it's represent, uh, representing a smaller part of a whole number and uh, whenever you have a decimal, it is not a whole number, it's actually only part of a whole. To be able to better understand decimals, you have to know your place values very well, okay, like uh, let's say assuming okay ignore this part here for now okay assuming that uh, you have uh, this number here okay and, and you just look at these three numbers okay these three digits okay this number here actually is when it is in a one's place okay it actually represents three multiplied by one which gives you a total value of three okay when it's the number is in the tens place is the same as you have that digit multiplied by tens because it's in a tens place to give you a value of 20 and whenever it's in the hundreds place okay you have the digit multiplied by a hundred which actually gives you a value of 100 so um, whatever digit that in which place okay actually gives you a certain value okay and uh, looking here at this part now okay each decimal or each digit in the after the this decimal point also have a certain place value okay and uh, it's actually known as tens hundreds and thousands and so on okay so what's the main difference you can see that okay um for whenever the number is on the right side of the decimal point okay the place value has uh, the THS at the back, okay? So for hundreds, is THS, and thousands, there's THS. And uh, what's interesting is that on the left side of the decimal point, okay, we always start with ones, ones, tens, hundreds. So you must be wondering, why don't we start from, um, you know, uh, O-N-E-T-H-S, okay? So why don't we start with ones, okay? For now, okay, just remember that it, there's no such thing as once, okay? Take note, there's no such thing as once. But uh, le later on in the video, okay, uh, if I have a chance, okay, I will explain why, you know, that, I mean, once, having once does not make sense, okay? So, for now, I want you to remember that any number after the decimal point is actually known as uh, tenths, okay? So, the, the, the very... Uh, number to the right of the decimal point is known as tenths. The next number is known as hundreds and the next number is known as thousands. Okay, so what does tenths actually represent? Okay, so um, these mathematicians, they actually define, okay, um, 0 0.1, okay, or this one's place, okay, to be equals to 1 out of 10. Okay, therefore you have this thing called the tenths place, okay. And uh, hundreds, okay, is actually 0 0.01, actually is 1 out of a 100. Thousands, okay, is 0 0.001, which is equals to 1 out of 1,000, okay. So, this place value, okay, uh, to represent smaller parts of a whole number, okay, so instead of writing it in a fraction, 
okay, you can, instead of writing in a fraction, you can also represent in a decimal form. Okay, instead of writing it as a fraction, okay, I can also represent it in a uh, decimal form. Okay, so um, what is the value of this 4 then? Okay, knowing that, uh, you know, this 10's place is actually 1 out of 10. Okay, so if I have a digit 4, Okay, and it's in a tenths place, I actually multiply by 1 out of 10, and that gives me the value of 4 out of 10, which is actually the same as 0 0.4. Okay, um, how do I convert this? Okay, I will explain later on, okay, in a later video. So to recap, what are decimals that actually created my mathematicians to represent part of a whole okay so it's actually very related to fractions and this decimal here okay is a good example one out of ten this fraction is actually the same as 0 0.1 okay so this is defined by mathematician okay there is no proof to show uh, how this is related to this but um, you just have to remember that you know, instead of, uh, let's say, writing, um, you know, I'm going to give you 1 out of 10 parts of an apple, okay, uh, the other way is actually to tell you that, yeah, I'm going to give you 0 0.1 of an apple.